Hello, I'm talking to, or I'd like to send a message out to all the African Americans, black and black people living in Chicago. Um, I saw a video recently about people in Chicago, African American people, black people, um, African Americans, um, speaking about how Barack, Barack Obama was not helping them and last night uh, I was asking Jesus how I could serve him in what way um, and it's been weighing on my mind to go into the, the south side and street preach but I've never done that and that seems like it would be risky and but in this day and age, we don't really need to street preach. We can we can preach from where I'm preaching from now. And um, I want to tell you something that is the truth. Um, in 2008, I I wanted to vote for Barack Obama, and I did, and I I wanted to support him, and and I thought that an African American as president would really help heal a lot of uh, racial division in this country and I know that his election initially did but he intentionally undermined it and it occurred to me the reason why um, the reason he was elected was because a good portion of the majority of this country which is white was willing to elect a black American as president and that's because we really aren't racist um, most people came here after slavery was abolished their ancestors did and I know that that's a familiar argument and, and people can still be prejudiced and, and race racist but even at even at the time of slavery, most people weren't slave owners, and if it wasn't for the majority um, who wanted abolition, um, it wouldn't have come about. So it's difficult to watch black Americans bemoan why their first black president isn't doing more to help them, especially in Chicago. Um, where so many are being killed and it's, uh, it's frustrating to watch that same black president incite racial division by accusing the white Americans who elected him of being racist. It's evil, it's plain evil. It is returning evil for good. The good that the white people did by electing him, by trusting him. And the reason we trusted him was because we thought he was a black American, but now we see he's not. He's he's not an American. Even if he was born in, in, in Hawaii, which really is very remote from the majority of the continental United States, he was raised in Indonesia. Um, he's just a liar and he's no doubt evil but we all have the capacity for evil but he embraces evil he's he enjoys it and what you need to realize is that he doesn't care about you and he doesn't care about me he doesn't care about black Americans he doesn't care about white Americans he hates all Americans and he's obviously a Muslim there's no doubt about it and you might be a black Muslim but I assume you're a black Muslim American and for whatever reason you you became a Muslim I don't think it's because Allah or Muhammad appeared to you and convinced you in a divine supernatural way it's for other reasons I'm a Christian and was baptized as an adult by my own volition. I 
it's something I decided to do because Jesus appeared to me, not visually, but spiritually. I felt it. It was a supernatural feeling. So that's why I know Jesus is the Son of God. So I would never attack somebody for becoming a Muslim because God didn't tell them otherwise. So you're seeking a better life to be a better person and that's why you became a Muslim. But you're an American and you're a Chicagoan and you have more in common with me than you have with Barack Obama or anybody living in Africa. I have more in common with you than I do with anybody living in Europe. We're, we're Chicagoans. I played, I went to high school with black guys. I went to, I played sports with black guys. I hung out at parties with black guys. I worked with black guys. We were friends. We got along. We enjoyed each other's company. We trusted each other. I boxed with black guys. I can leave my things in the locker room and they can leave their things in the locker room and not worry about it getting stolen. That's why Barack Obama was elected, was because white Americans aren't racist and they 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 trust black Americans. But now Barack Obama, who posed as a black American, got into the White House as an imposter. He pretended to be one of you, one of us, Americans. It doesn't matter. I don't care about his birth certificate. I don't care where he was born. He's not a black American. He's not even a black Chicagoan. Yeah, he came here after law school, but he's not from here. And that's why he doesn't care about you. And that's why we have the problems we have. For his wife to get up and do a commencement speech recently and say she knows how you feel when the white man crosses the street uh, when he sees you coming. First of all, that's bullshit. That's not your experience. Maybe if you if, if, if a white person for some reason was walking down the ghetto in a dangerous neighborhood and you're a black guy and you're dangerous and she w crosses the street, she should be afraid of a dangerous black person as much as a black person should be afraid of a dangerous black person. Not all white people are as intelligent, not as many white people. I don't think there are white people across the street to avoid a black person. But she said that in order to incite racial division. She's the last person who should be saying that. She be, should be saying, look at me, look at my husband. We made it to the White House in a, in a, in a country of majority white Americans, white America elected us to the White House. So therefore, if we can make it, you can make it. If, if they could, if you can, if they'll trust you, trust me, they'll trust you. You can trust them because obviously they trusted me, but that's not what she says. And I think that even thoughtful black people realize something's wrong when she makes a statement like that, that we're looking at pure evil in these people who return evil for good. They, they betray the white Americans and the black Americans who elected them into the White House. Now, the man claims to be a Christian, but he acts like a Muslim. He only cares about Muslims. If it looks like a duck, quacks like a duck, it's a duck. If it looks like a Muslim, quacks like a Muslim, talks like a Muslim, it's a Muslim. He's a Muslim. He also shrouded the White House in the gay pride colors, bringing shame and disgrace upon the White House. Christians do not advocate homosexuality because God hates it. You can find certain men attractive, but that, that doesn't mean it's okay to lust after them. You know, physically perfect young men and women are all attractive and you could be incited to 
lust. But when you're guided by the Word of God, you don't do those things. It was a societal norm back in ancient Greece, according to writings that still exist today. But that's a form of evil and decadence that our society, up till the election of Barack Obama, knew to be wrong. But now, just because Barack Obama says it's okay, we're supposed to agree and say it's okay, because he wants to drag you to hell. He wants to entice the society to sin so that it will stir up the spiritual forces uh, that will that will bring about uh, destruction to everything that is humanity. Um, so, as a black Chicagoan, what you need to do is not look to Barack Obama. Do not listen to Barack Obama. If he says do, don't do it. If he says don't do it, do it. The man is a liar. He's a proven liar. He wants you to hate white people. He wants white people to start hating black people. And it's pure evil. And you need to realize that. And you have to realize also that oftentimes the people who put themselves forward as, as, as black leaders are oftentimes mulattos. And if you look at them, whether it's Barack Obama, Al Sharpton, Jesse Jackson, um, you know more of them than I do. You can tell by the pigment of their skin that they're more mulatto. So they feel as though they deserve more or they want what the white man has but most white men don't have what wealthy white men have. Most white people work for a living just like most black people. So what these people do is they, they manipulate black Americans to advance their own interests and you can see that all the time. Even Muhammad Ali great boxer. His grandfather was Irish. So he's living in, in a black neighborhood and he feels he's being prejudiced by white people and he's part white. And he probably is being prejudiced and at times, and I know if it happens once, it's too much. But you have to realize that look at these people's lives. They end up stirring you up and all they do is further themselves. Um, their lives become great and prosperous and you're left with little if no gain whatsoever. And that's why you see this in Barack Obama because he doesn't care about you. He never did. I wouldn't say that black leaders who are mulatto are anti-American, though many of them make anti-American statements, um, but I would say that Barack Obama is anti-American um, by his actions. This is a man, I believe, who is totally different in private than he is when he knows he's being videotaped and listened to. I believe that his messages are deliberately, um, intentionally false and he is a liar who I believe actually feeds off actually almost it must be orgasmic in some ways to him to, to lie and to see a crowd stirred and to fall for his lies and that's also evil that's demonic it's it's evil the devil is the father of lies. Jesus called him the father of lies. And nobody would know better than Jesus. The devil is the father of lies. Barack Obama loves lies. He's also the Lord of the Flies. Beelzebub means the Lord of the Flies. When was the last time before Barack Obama you saw a fly land, fly and land on the president's face and he didn't even know it? 
those photos are available. So, and why also on the eve following Barack Obama's election in 2008, the Illinois Lottery, after he gave his speech in Grand Park, Chicago, Illinois, why did the Illinois Lottery on the exact following evening have the pick three lottery 666 and the pick four 7779? And there are videos talking about that. You can go to the Illinois Lottery website, look it up. Um, when he was elected in November of 2008, you'll see there was, an, there was a lottery, then he got elected, then the following lottery, after he got elected, the very next one, 666-7779. So that's not a coincidence. We're dealing with pure evil. The point being, the only thing that's going to help black Chicagoans is Jesus Christ, God, not Barack Obama. You would never turn to an evil person to help you. Um, you would only turn to God. You have to turn to God. And beware of preachers for profit. There are, there are people, and I hope they do, if you watch this video and you want to go out and preach in the black neighborhoods and you're black, by all means, do it. Um, but if you're listening to this and you want to go to Jesus, that doesn't mean you need to go to a church. You don't have to go to Father Flager, another self-appointed leader. You need to go in your room, close the door, get on your knees and pray. And, and that is what we need. We need spiritual help. We need God to intervene. And he will.